So thank you, Sudhir, for this opportunity to be with all the luminaries here. So Sudhir's story, I wish he would be last telling his story because we could tell it even better. We, went, we go back, Sudhir and I, uh, when he was still in Texas, must somewhere 92, 93, or 94 in that period, when we had just started the movement for minimal invasive surgery. It was NASA who had actually conceived the idea of doing remote tele-surgery, but had to abandon it because they were, the space station concept did not materialize. So this is a real tribute to you, Sudhir, for two reasons. One, like you said already, you went through the worst of times and now you're in the best of times in one lifetime. So this is living example of the grit. If you, if you stay after like a hound dog and don't let it go, so this is something to be really proud of. And, uh, and then what the moon man most uh, sort of appropriately said that one day we will keep progressing to a point where we will have actually biosurgeons. And I was just requesting him that please make it quick so that we, we can retire. <laughs> so thank you, Sudhir. And my real compliments because we have worked together for now. I don't want to tell the age because I'm not, I, you don't look that old, so it's okay. We'll hide it. All the best. Thank you.